What's going on everybody? Andrew here and uh, today I'm going to be taking Dr. Jordan Peterson's uh, personality assessment. It's uh, If you go to understandmyself.com you'll get this screen and um, it's a $10 personality test that basically rates you on five metrics and um, supposedly it's it's really good and it's good because it's not a personality test that quote unquote makes you feel good about yourself. Apparently it's pretty blunt and it will point out um, character flaws, you know, for what they are. It won't try to hide things up, you know, like a horoscope where it just kind of gives you a personality result with a bunch of things that are kind of broad and you go, oh, you know, like that sounds like me. Kind of like, you know, like the Myers-Briggs test. Um, apparently this one kind of helps you identify flaws um, for the purpose of enlightening you, allowing you to kind of try to fix them and improve yourself. So in the spirit of my 2018 resolutions, I figured this would kind of be a great way to prepare myself for January because it's only it's only like five days away now. So, so yeah, I'm going to take this and I'm going to film myself as I go through it and we'll go over my results. And um, I also filmed the first half of my 23andMe DNA ancestry test, which I I spit in a tube today and mailed it. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to learn a bunch of stuff about my DNA, which is really, really cool. So 2018 is going to be the best year ever because I'm going to be learning about myself and trying to get better at everything. And uh, this is just part of the process. So anyways, um, I'm going to register and we'll get started on this. Anyways, I just want to throw this in here real quick. PayPal, although I do not use it in my business, I use Stripe. PayPal's great because whenever I sell something on eBay, you know, just like whenever I sell random junk on eBay, I get money in my PayPal account, and then I forget that it's there. And then when I want to buy something random online and it has PayPal, I have, like, just change sitting in my PayPal account. And it's like I don't even have to pay for this because it's I'm using money I forgot about. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, so we're registered, and uh, we're going to start. So the big five aspect scale. The system is designed so that users are only allowed to complete the assessment a single time. This personality test is based on a statistical model that presupposes a single administration. Redoing the assessment after seeing the results would introduce bias in the scores, rendering the assessment invalid. Thus, please answer carefully and thoughtfully the first and only time. Describe yourself as you are the majority of the time, not as you would like to be. Be as honest as possible so the results are maximally informative. Alright, so I'm just, I'm going to criticize myself and uh, I guess when in doubt be a little harsher than normal because that'll ensure that my flaws come out. So we're putting in our birthday here because he actually does, I'm pretty sure he and his team actually uses all of these surveys and the results for research and he does it to, you know, he does analytical studies with all of the results that he gets. Okay, a lot to read here. So, so 100 questions and they're just statements and you rate the degree to which you agree or disagree. Okay. Everything's sorted into five primary and ten secondary dimensions. So there's five big traits, and each trait has two, like, sub-traits. Sub you can only take the test once, and don't take it under conditions that will make you more critical. <laughs> don't do it when you're hungry. Don't do it when you're unhappy or depressed or anxious. <clears throat> do it when you have time to think, and don't get distracted. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Page one. <clears throat> I seldom feel blue. I agree. I agree. <clears throat> I agree. I don't strongly agree. Sometimes I'm sad. I'm not interested in other people's problems. Um, I agree. I agree. I don't strongly agree, but I agree. I, I prefer to stay out of people's stuff. <clears throat> I carry out my plans. Uh, 
See, that that's a tough one. I, uh, I'm a person who plans a lot. Like, I plan insane amounts of details. I have, like, notebooks and notebooks of lists and ideas. Um, but sometimes it's difficult for me to execute. That's why my resolution is be a man of no excuses, because sometimes I don't, I don't carry out my plans. I'm going to have to disagree. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to disagree. I'm not going to strongly disagree, because I do, I do carry out at least one or two things a day. But I always feel like I'm not getting stuff done. I make friends easily. I'm going to strongly agree with that. I tend to get along with people pretty well. I am quick to understand things. Well, are we talking, like, normal things or organic chemistry? Because organic chemistry, I don't think I understood a single thing in that class. <laughs> I will, I'll strongly agree. I'm, I'm pretty quick to understand things. Get angry easily. Yes, I do. I do. I'm gonna, I, I have to strongly agree with that. I get furious at my computer and the dogs and politics anytime anyone says anything about politics it makes me angry there, there's all kinds of things that make me angry that's something i need to work on is my anger for sure i respect authority <clears throat> this is something that has come out in other personality tests that i've taken myers briggs did it and there was another personality test i took um oh what was it called the emblem for the company is a lion it was like a corporate personality test that's designed to tell you like how you behave in the workplace and I always get a 10 for um, like independent thought and like a 1 for respect for authority and I I have historically had problems with every single manager and teacher I'm gonna have to strongly disagree I usually do not respect authority <laughs> I respect cops, though, because they have guns. I leave my belongings around. Uh, strongly disagree. I am very organized. I take charge. Um, yeah. Yeah, I strongly agree. I get, I get irritated by people who can't make their minds up. And I enjoy the beauty of nature. Absolutely. Strongly agree. That's why I want to move out west. All right, next page. I am filled with doubts about things. Uh, no, not really. The only thing I ever doubt is like my uh, my political disposition. Sometimes, sometimes I don't know what I think about like certain policies or, or hot point political issues, like economic issues, and and I'm usually pretty set about social issues. Um, I tend to be socially liberal, but. But economic things kind of twist me sometimes, so I don't know. Depends how complex the thing is. I'm filled with doubts. I will disagree. I will disagree. There are some things that I, I, I doubt a lot, though. I feel others' emotions. I really don't. I don't. I'm a very bad person. I'm a very bad shoulder. <laughs> I'm not a very bad person. But I'm a very bad shoulder to cry on. I am a ter- yeah, I... I have to strongly disagree. I have a hard time. I, I can empathize and I can sympathize with people, but I... I don't get emotional. I've only cried like three times in my life. I cried... I thought I was gonna cry at my wedding, but I didn't. Which kind of disappointed me, because I was like, that would be nice if I cried at my wedding, but I, I didn't. I cry. I bawled like a, like a little girl when my baby was born. Though when my baby was born, oh my gosh, and my wife doesn't even remember because she was in so much pain. <laughs> yeah, she was crying too, but <laughs> because of pain. Oh, what she she was in labor for so long it would have killed me. I waste my time. Ah, oh, this hurts. Yeah. See, I can't be too critical though. I can't be too critical of myself. Let's be rational here. Like, let's look at today. Today I was alone with the baby for nine hours, so I, I had I had a limited capacity to get things done. I huh, waste my time. I have to say agree. Agree. 
Yeah, I, I do waste I do waste my time. <laughs> I I'm I've never been satisfied with my work ethic. I am hard to get to know. No. I'm pretty open. I will tell complete strangers all about myself if they're curious. I'm very easy to talk to. Um only if I'm in the mood though. So I'm gonna disagree. I'm not hard to get to know. I have difficulty understanding abstract ideas. I strongly disagree. I love I love philosophy and things like that. I hope that's what they mean by abstract ideas. I rarely get irritated. Strongly disagree. Again, gotta work on that, it's that anger. I believe that I am better than others. Oh. Um. In what way? <laughs> I believe that I am better than others. No, in the sense that we're all humans and I believe we're equal under the law. And I believe that everyone has the potential to become something great. And I think that everybody has something different and unique and beautiful to offer to the world. However, I think that there are a lot of people who neglect that potential and a lot of people who don't strive. And there's a lot of people who just feel bad for themselves and they blame their problems on others and they blame their problems on circumstance. And, you know, sure, some excuses have some weight, but it's never enough to hold you down and make you unable to do anything. So, but, you know, like I said, my work ethic can suck sometimes, so I'm definitely not better than others. Um, I'm going to neither agree nor disagree because there's a lot of people who are better than me and there's a lot of people that I'm better than on many different metrics. That's a tough one. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in the middle for that. I like order. Yes, strongly agree. I have an appreciation for structure. I have a strong personality. Yes, I do. I strongly agree. I believe in the importance of art. Yes. I think I'm always tempted to say that some art is just stupid. Because it is. But then I always step back from that and I go, this is important because it's making me think. And the fact that it got me to think it was stupid means that it invoked a reaction. Which means it's powerful stuff. I will agree. I believe in the importance of art. I'm being messaged right now. Don't distract me. I feel comfortable with myself. Um, I agree. Yes. I'm never comfortable with my hair. Like, even right now, my hair looks awful in this video. But, uh, I don't know. I feel pretty comfortable in public. I feel comfortable with who I am, and yeah. There we go. That's a little better. Not really. I inquire about others' well-being. Um, yes. Yes, I agree. I do. Yeah, I, I shoot text messages to people, ask them how they're doing. I find it difficult to get down to work. Yes. Yes, that's part of my work ethic problem. I agree. I keep others at a distance. That's a, that, that's a conditional one right here, because it used to be no. I was always very very close, very engaged, and it didn't really matter who I was talking to, I would engage with them on any level that they felt comfortable. Um, but now, this past year, I've started my business, and I have a business coach and a mentor, and I've, re I've been reading a lot of books about success and entrepreneurship, and the, the recurring theme that I have noticed is that successful people do not hang out with unsuccessful people. And um, I have been trying to employ that tactic by keeping people who are negative at a distance. Um, so this is, this is a conditional question. Um, others at a distance. And lately I've only been interacting with like three people total. Mostly because I'm just locked in this house working. This test wants me to answer how things are typically. Not how I want things to be. So I will agree, because I would like to interact more with the people that I believe in. But lately, it's, it's just been, uh, I've been keeping a lot of people 
at a distance just because I don't have time and some of them really sap my energy. I can handle a lot of information. Yes. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, I read books. I watch videos while I work. I can listen to two separate people talk at once. Don't know if I absorb everything, but but I love, I'm always taking, I listen to podcasts while I work out. There are some people who would slap me for that. But I just, I love to be learning. <clears throat> I get upset easily. Upset. Okay, you already asked me if I get angry easily. You asked me if I get irritated easily. And both of those are, are yes. Upset. That, to me, feels more like emotionally upset. And that is absolutely not the case. Uh, I'm not an emotional person. I don't get offended. I don't get upset by things. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strongly disagree with that. And I'm, I hope I'm interpreting that correctly. I hate to seem pushy. Uh, yeah. I don't think anyone likes to seem pushy. Sometimes I am, like I said, I'll take charge if people aren't making decisions, because I hate it when other people waste my time. Um, I'm making myself sound really bad in this video. But that's the point of this test. I hate to seem pushy. I will agree. Yeah, I, I do not like to seem pushy. Uh, I keep things tidy. Well, I'm going to go back. I'm going back. I hate to seem pushy. I'm going to neither agree nor disagree. Because if people are not taking charge, I, I do not mind taking charge. And if there are people who are just messing with the vibes and someone has to bring discipline and order into the group and say things like they are, I will do it. It's why I'm a good fitness coach, because you know, I just I don't put up with bullshit. And if you're gonna be making excuses, I will uh I will tell you how it is. So I yeah, neither agree nor disagree, because I, I I'm perfectly okay with seeming pushy if it gets the job done. I think that's more important than being liked. Um, keep things tidy. I agree. I try really hard, but this house is so small. I can't do strongly agree. I agree. I have a lack of... I lack the talent for influencing people. This video is going to be way too long. I lack the talent for influencing people. Um, strongly disagree, yeah. I love to reflect on things. Strongly agree, yes. I feel threatened easily. I feel threatened easily. I don't know. Um, threatened. Is this like a dominance thing? Uh, because I usually don't feel threatened. I'll usually just be quiet if someone else is taking charge, because that saves me energy. <clears throat> I'm gonna disagree. Yeah. You, people usually don't challenge me if I've already taken charge either, so... I can't be bothered with others' needs. Uh, yeah, this sucks. I'm gonna agree. Yeah, I need to work on that. I mess things up. <laughs> uh, I mess things up. Do I? Sometimes I mess things up. Have I messed anything up lately? I haven't been involved in much. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Uh, I will neither agree nor disagree. Because I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, sure, I met, everyone messes things up. I don't mess things up often, but it could just be because I'm not involved in that much. I pretty much just deal with myself these days. I reveal little about myself. Ooh. I'm a Byronic hero. Uh. No, I'm pretty, I'm pretty open, honestly. Yeah, I'll, I'll disagree. Yeah. I like to solve complex problems. Do I? <laughs> it's usually a lot of work. <laughs> uh, complex problems. If we're talking math here, it's a definite no. If we're talking about building a strength program and like getting someone to lose 50 pounds and get in shape, then it's a yes. Uh, neither agree nor disagree. 
depends on the reward, honestly. I don't just do it for fun. Keep my emotions under control. Unless it's anger. I will, I will agree. I take advantage of others. Who do I have to take advantage of? When people offer me things... You know, I'll do that thing where it's like, oh, no, no, no. But, like, if they push it, I'll, I'll let them, like, you know, pay for something. But I don't like to owe people things, but I'm always giving things to people, too. Like, I'm always giving stuff, giving gifts. I will pay for, you know, I'll take people out and pay for their ice cream or their food. And I do stuff like that all the time. I buy my clients gifts. Um, do I take... I disagree. I don't... I do not take advantage of others. But I'm not... Like, I'm not super stubborn about people who want to give. So, I think I think giving and receiving is one of the greatest things in the world. Being able to to give gifts and to give love and to receive love. I think, you no, know, it's not taking advantage though, is it? See that now we're we're getting into semantics. I follow a schedule. I wish I did. I disagree. I wish I did. I know how to captivate people. Strongly agree. Yes. I have a way with words sometimes. I get deeply immersed in music. Um, not a very musical person. I do not listen to a lot of music. I listen to ambient noise when I work. And I'll listen to beats. I don't really listen to music that has singing in it. Um, but when I listen to the ambient music, yeah, like I'll, I'll dance it. I mean, I have a standing desk. I'll, I'll be doing this while I'm working. So, I mean, when I meditate, I close my eyes, listen to ambient music and I get super into it. So, uh, yeah, I'll neither agree nor disagree because I can't call myself a really musically involved person, but I do like my music. Other people don't really think it's music. I rarely feel depressed. Um, strongly agree. Yeah. I sympathize with others' feelings. Yes, I yes, I strongly sympathize. I finish what I start. Yeah. Um So my work ethic is not the greatest. Um mostly because I just plan things. And I have lists and lists of things I want to do that I never get to. But if I do actually get to start something, I usually do finish it. So I'm going to agree. Because if I manage to start it, I probably will finish it. My problem is I just make big plans and I never start them. But if I, if I do start them, usually that's a good sign. I warm up quickly to others. Strongly agree. Yes. I avoid philosophical discussions. Strongly disagree. I love that kind of stuff. I change my mood a lot. Yes. Strongly agree. I am, I am moody. I avoid imposing my will on others. I will impose my opinions if there's a discussion or a disagreement being had. My will, though, is like what I want to happen. We're talking like actions here. And I don't, I don't tell people what to do. And I, I don't, you know, when we're like trying to decide on a restaurant, I'm the guy who like lists off options and then takes a vote because no one wants to impose their opinion when it comes to picking a restaurant. Everyone's like, well, what do you want? I'm the guy who stands up and says, okay, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I take account and then we go. So, uh, di I'll disagree. Yeah, I don't impose my will. I am not bothered by messy people. Strongly disagree. Ooh, messy people. <clears throat> I wait for others to lead the way. Strongly disagree. If there's no leader, I do it. I do not like poetry. <laughs> poetry does kind of irritate me. But it's art, and I can appreciate it. Um, I will agree, because I, I, don't, I don't really care for it, but I don't hate it. So, page six. I worry about things. Uh, disagree. 
<clears throat> I am indifferent to the feelings of others. Neither agree nor disagree. I don't put my mind on the task. This is a long video. We're going on 30 minutes. I'm going to edit this. I don't think YouTube's going to let me upload this. I don't put my mind on the task at hand. I agree. Yeah, I'll be working and thinking about something completely different. It's part of it's part of my problem. I rarely get caught up in the excitement. Disagree. I like to get excited. <clears throat> I avoid difficult reading material. Disagree. I rarely lose my composure. Disagree, yeah. When I get irritated, I, I turn into a bitch. I rarely put people under pressure. I agree, yeah, I don't, I don't ever try to like burn someone on purpose. I want everything to be just right. Yes, strongly agree, I'm a perfectionist. I see myself as a good leader. Well, and now we're just ego stroking. Um, uh, I'm pretty democratic. Um, I take charge when it needs to be taken charge, and if someone is getting taken advantage of, I will call out the person who's being a turd. Sometimes I'm a turd. I will agree. I think I'm a good leader. I listen. I do. I'm democratic. Sel I seldom notice the emotional aspects of painting and pictures. Yeah, I'll strongly agree. I didn't know those had emotional aspects. I am easily discouraged. Strongly disagree. I take no time for others. Uh, disagree. I get things done quickly. Ah, yes and no. Yes and no. Big projects? No. Small things that like, like doing the dishes or getting ready to go. Yeah, I'm super fast. Ah, whoa, that's tough. If I know exactly what to do, it gets done super quick. But if it involves research, I really, I go slow. I will procrastinate if I'm not 100% sure how to do it. But if I know how to do it, it gets done quick. Um, I'll agree. Because most things I know how to do. Most of the things I'm doing I know how to do. And they get done quick. <clears throat> I am not a very enthusiastic person. That really depends on my mood. Because when I'm coaching, when I'm working, when I'm training, I'm super enthusiastic. When I'm filming, I'm in the moment. But like, if, if I'm just like by myself, usually I'm pretty stoic. I will disagree. I have a rich vocabulary. I agree. I wish I could strongly agree. I'm a person whose moods go up and down easily. Agree. I insult people. No. No, I never I never insult people. No, I don't strongly disagree. Yeah, I, I don't I don't do ad hominem. That's not really my thing. I am not bothered by disorder. Again, strongly disagree. I can talk others into doing things. I agree, yeah, sure. I need a creative outlet. Yes. Yes, yes, I strongly agree, yeah. I am not embarrassed easily. I agree. I take an interest in other people's lives. Strongly agree, yeah. I always, well, no, just agree. Just gonna agree to that, yeah, because there's a lot of people who talk too much. I always know what I'm doing. I agree. I show my feelings when I'm happy. Yes, strongly agree. I think quickly. Yes, I agree. I am not easily annoyed. Disagree. I seek conflict. I don't seek it. I don't enjoy it. But if there's even a hint, I will bring it out and try to settle it. That's, that's, I've always been a, a dele, not a delegator, but I've always been like a diplomat. I seek it to destroy it. <laughs> uh, neither agree nor disagree. I dislike routine. I agree, yeah. It's good for me, but I don't enjoy it. I seldom get lost in thought. Strongly disagree. 
I become overwhelmed by events. Overwhelmed by events. It depends. It really depends on the event. That's why these tests are so hard. I become overwhelmed by events. I'm gonna agree. Yeah. Certain things will just fall up in the sky. I don't have a soft side. I disagree. Yeah, with my wife, I'm super soft. Like, I'm just a puddle of mush. With my daughter and my wife, like, I'm disgusting. I'm a cuddle monster. Postpone decisions. I postpone decisions. Strongly disagree. I postpone the work that comes after the decision. I have a lot of fun. Strongly agree. I always have fun. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. I learn things slowly. Disagree. If it's web building, I strongly agree, but other things I do okay. Easily agitated, I agree. I love a good fight. Uh, a good fight, like fighting with friends or like a boxing match, because those are different. I love a good challenge. I love a fair fight. I like an intellectual debate. I love a good fight. I'll agree. Yeah, sure. We'll Loose interpretation. I see that rules are observed. It depends, because if they're bad rules, I will see that they are broken. Uh, neither agree nor disagree. I am the first to act. Agree. I seldom daydream. Strongly disagree. Last page. I am afraid of many things. Strongly disagree. I don't worry that much. I like to do things for others. Yeah. Yes, I strongly agree. I like making other people happy. I'm easily distracted. Strongly agree. I laugh a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I laugh more than anyone else around here. I formulate ideas clearly. Yes. I can be stirred up easily. Yeah. I am out for my own personal gain. Um, most, most, I mean, most of the time, it depends, like, that sounds really selfish, but, like, I'm out to make myself better. Like, I want to build my business, I want to get fit, like, I want to be the best at what I do, so, I mean, yes, I am out for my personal gain, but I do that through empowering others. Um, I will, I'll agree. I want every detail taken care of. Yes, agree. I do not have an assertive personality. Disagree. I see beauty in things that others might not notice. See, this is like the emotion in art. Like, I don't, I don't see emotion in art. But, like, if I'm in the inner city, I'll see, like, a pile of trash or, like, a dirty alleyway and be like, wow, it's like, that's kind of artistic. Like, cities are gross, but, like, they're beautiful in a, uh, in a human kind of way. So... I see, I, yeah, I do. I see beauty in, like, chaos and stuff. Like, I don't see, I don't notice emotion in, like, paintings and art museums aren't really my jive, but, like, I see beauty in, like, suffering and tragedy. I know that sounds weird, but, like, I think that's what makes humans amazing. That's what makes our society amazing is because so much of it was born out of strife and chaos and conflict. And I, I think the human condition is a beautiful thing and inspires me. So, yeah. And I love, I mean, everyone can see beauty when they're outside, I think. Some people just don't care about that stuff. Alright, I've completed it.